Cameron, I did my project on the Santa Clara de Estes mission. It's the eighth mission of California missions. It was also the first mission in honor a female sent Santa Clara of Estes. It was founded on January 12, 1777. <laughs> Tyler to Pedro Serra. The mission was built on land of Ohlone people located on the southern end of San Francisco Bay and Santa Clara on the Galoop River. The mission moved many times because of flooding of the river and an earthquake and fire and now sits on higher ground. They rebuilt the mission six times. They started these missions to spread Christianity. They convinced the native Ohlone to move to the mission to work and live and learn about Christianity. The natives weren't sure they wanted to go, but finally agreed. Who lived at the mission? California Indians like the Ohlone and Spanish priests and Spanish soldiers. The soldiers protected the mission in Pueblo, located near by the and the Cristo, Cristo, where the soldiers lived. The Pueblo of San Jose was near the mission and was not part of the church life was rough for the public people. They didn't get along with the press priests at the mission and had many disagreements over cattle, water, and land. I am now moving to the tree line street. <laughs> the precious priest tried to get the Pueblo's people to visit the mission by building a tree lined road from the Pueblo to the mission. It was called the Amani. Alameda. Oh. It didn't really work, but now people could travel to the Pueblo more easily. I am now going back to the cross in front of the church. When the people of the mission started building the first, their, they first erected a large cross outside the church. It still stands at the mission today. Next, we're going to move into the church. day at the mission started here in the church after the bells ring. Everyone would meet at down, dawn for an hour of prayers. There were many statues and paintings and even the ceilings were painted with beautiful scenes. Next we're moving to the bell tower. Mission mentioned that they rang bells and they were located in the bell tower right next to the church. The bells were very important because the mission's act activities were signaled by the ringing of the bells.
Also, King Charles III of Spain sent these bells to the mission in 1777. He asked that they be rung every day at 8.30 in the evening in honor of those who had died. They also have rung, they have rung every night since, even after the fire that destroyed the mission. I will now move to the outdoor kitchen. After prayers, everyone would meet for breakfast. The kitchen was outside with a fireplace and tables and chairs. They ate the grains, fruit, and vegetables and meat they harvested. After breakfast, the work began. The men went to the fields to tend crops and help with the animals. They grew wheat, potatoes, carrots, peaches, apricots, apple, grapes, grapes. They also raised pig, sheep, and cow for meat. The animals were put in here for meat and for grazing. Um, um, the crops were harvested by the men, as I said before. This is all the wheat they had. Okay, so there were many pigs, cows, and sheep, and chickens. They had a chicken coop for the chicken, many cows, more than sheep and pigs. The pigs had a lot of mud to roll around in so that they didn't get bored and wanted to drink out of. The woman stared at the mission and mostly worked in the courtyard and workshop. They made clo cloth, clothing, bricks, pottery, olive oil, and leather goods. The wheat was gr ground at the grinding stone in the courtyard. They cooked with all the fruit and vegetables they harvested. Now let's go check out the courtyard. This is where the cows were. This is the courtyard. While the adults worked, the children went to school to learn Spanish and about the Catholic religion. They often helped with chores when their studies were done. Here is the courtyard. They had a large fountain used for cleaning clothes, washing, and water. They also had a grindstone grinding stone for the wheat. After finishing work for the day, everyone would gather together in the courtyard until bedtime. Now we will move to the sleeping quarters on the other side of the mission. Of 
sleeping quarters in the mission. They had a large bed, books to study religion, and a table to read. They had a chair to sit in on their free time before they went to bed. Bedtime was 8 for the women and 9 for the men. We are now going to the front of the mission again. That's pretty much what the mission looks like. Life was hard for the natives because the soldier. Life was hard for the natives because the soldiers treated them like slaves. In fact, many natives tried to leave, but the soldiers would find them and bring them back. At the father's request, the mission couldn't survive without them. across California were pretty important to the settlement of the area. The center of Assis mission was important because it taught the natives to farm and raise livestock so they could take care of themselves. The mission also helped supply the Pablo and the military. When the mission was taken over by the Jesuits in 1851, it changed. A priest, John Nobile, started the first college in California on this spot. Today, the mission is on the grounds of Santa Ana University first and oldest university in California. That's my tour of San Clara de Assis Mission. Thank you for watching.